Hello, it's Eliza Bloom Robinson here. This is day four of our Falling into Ease Challenge. Day one, day two, day three. Today is day four. Tomorrow is our last day. So I'm so glad that you're joining me here today live. Today is about the activation. Today is about really leaning into what would ease feel like? What would ease be like? Today I'm joining you. Hey, Paul, how fun to see you here. Today I'm joining you from the beautiful sunny Arizona. Uh, we started in Hot Springs Village, Arkansas, and then we went to the airport, and now we're in Arizona. So what would it be like if you could fall into ease? Activation involves really getting in tune with that which you would love. If you're experiencing that which is unlike ease right now in your life in any way, shape, or form, whether it's a little stress or a little irritation or a little frustration or anything at all, what would it be like if that stress went away? What would it be like if you could just fall into a greater sense of ease? So to activate that, we have to look at really why we believe what we believe. Let's take a moment there. Why do you believe what you believe? Why do you believe that life can't be easy? Or why do you believe that it can be easy? And if you believe it, then you'll see it. See, we think that we see things when we, or, or we see, because we see things, we believe them, but that's actually backwards. We actually only see things that we already believe. So the exercise that I gave you today in the email, if you're in the, in the challenge, is really to, to take a deep dive and, and look at that deeper place. Look at those deeper things that you believe. Unpack them a little bit. And then begin to identify what would you would, what you would rather have. Excuse me, I'm stumbling all over my words today. I think I need to drop into ease. Oh, there we go. That's better. Get back in my body a little bit. So, thinking about what you would rather have. What would ease look like? Feel like? Taste like? How would your day flow it has more ease in it how would your conversations go perhaps with your employees or your employers or your co-workers perhaps with your friends and family perhaps with the strangers that you meet when you're out doing your day what would ease feel like inside your body like how would your body feel if you had greater ease <sighs> oh just feel the question right did you just notice that your shoulders dropped? Did you just notice that your breath went deeper? Just in the question itself. What would ease sound like? Yesterday, or maybe it was the other day. The other day, I think it was Tuesday, I was recording and my husband was uh, in the area recording. And then I came back in and it was a super, super busy day and I was, looking for something I think maybe my computer wasn't working right there was something you know one of those life challenges that often just shows up and I'm like ah, da, 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 da. he goes you know I think you should go listen to what you just recorded <laughs> and I had to laugh I had to laugh because even though and even as we teach ease right even as we live from that place there are those moments just in the course of a day that cause tension that cause and that cause um, a constriction of the flow. So as we're looking at opposite of that, feel an expanded place in your chest. Feel that you stand up taller. Feel that your feet are more grounded on the floor. Or go outside and connect to the earth. Go outside and look up to the sky. Take a breath. <sighs> we have a beautiful, glorious blue sky here with some clouds. I'm gonna just point up to the sky. Oops, it's more cloudy that way. Look at the sky over that way. Look how gorgeous that sky is. 
Sorry if I made you a little bit dizzy. Coming back and around. So activating ease. Yesterday when we did the clearing, the other day when we did the coaching, we activated the thing that was unlike ease in order to clear it. But today we simply activate the idea of ease. So once again, what would that feel like? What would that be like? We're going to imagine it actually in the future, and then we're going to bring it present. This helps to bypass the maze of our minds. So let's do that now. So take a deep breath in. And simply surrender, simply relax. We're going to just begin to activate, ease, activate, love. Activate spaciousness. First in your body. And then in your imagination. Imagine a year from now. Imagine five years from now, and you live in the life of your dreams. Everything you could ever imagine has already come true. You're living every single day in the flow, in the flow of health, in the flow of abundance, in the flow of easy, easy time management, in the flow of love and peace and harmony in your relationships in the flow of deep compassion, in the flow of ease. So in your mind's eye, in your imagination, in your beingness, bring that present moment now, feel it. Feel it in the future, right now. Like you've done it. Like you've found the way, you've cleared the pathways. You're living in this place of ease. Let that activate. And in this place, what does it feel like? Notice how your body feels. Notice if it's tight or stressed or open and spacious. Notice what it sounds like. Notice the sounds. What are you talking about? What are you um, showing up as? in this place of ease. Notice if it has a flavor or a scent, a taste or a smell to it. And then notice what you're doing. And just notice if there's anything different than what you have been doing. Activating it, opening, expanding, Expanding even further, opening, expanding even further, allowing that experience of ease to be fully activated in your imagination, in your awareness. Just receive, just receive, let it expand. Let ease permeate and penetrate and fill the inner spaces of your being. Very nice, very nice. Now we're going to bring this from the future all the way into the present moment. So whether you're five years in the future or a year in the future, feel that future self out here coming back, coming back, all the way back, years and years and years, all the way back, present moment, feel it landing. Right now in this present moment, sorry, I got a bug. Right now in this present moment, take a breath, take a breath, let that ease activate. There we go, very nice, very, very, very nice. Awesome, awesome, feel that, feel that expanding, anchoring, put your hands on your lower belly, anchor that in. Activating ease, ease is accessible to you in any given moment right here, right now, as we activate a new pattern of ease into your beingness. Know that it affects your physiology. Notice how your body feels different. Your psychology, notice how your mind is much more open and free right now. 
It also affects your neurology. So feel the pathways of ease being built, being strengthened, being vitalized in this activation. I am at ease. We've been falling into ease now. I am at ease. Very nice. Very nice. Say it out loud with me. I am at ease. I am at ease. Very nice, very nice. Oh, it's been so much fun to be with you on this challenge. We have actually two more things, day five tomorrow. So watch for your email. Be sure and post in the Facebook group. I wanna hear from you. But, and 30 minutes from now, yep, right about 30 minutes from now, I'm teaching the Accessing Ease Masterclass. It's free to you. There's a free link just posted right above. Go get registered for that. We're gonna spend about 45 minutes in a, in a class, a master class, really deepening these pathways. So I hope you join me there. You do need to register, but uh, registering's free. And once you register, you'll also get the recording of that too. So hope to see you again real soon and have a ease-filled day. That's it for now. Bye-bye.